Hi everyone. As you may have noticed, Cricut has announced the Community Create Challenge. That is going to be across many Facebook groups and it is a really cute little Valentine's Day project. Very easy, very simple. So I'm going to show you like a quick little tutorial on the project that I'm going to make, but then I'm going to show you how to enter the challenge. Uh, you can win a Cricut Joy bundle, so that's the machine and goodies to go along with it. I am posting a link to the full information, all the details, everything you need to know on the Cricut blog um, in my post, but many people don't know how to enter the challenge. So I want to make sure that you guys know all of the steps and I'll show you how. Now I'm going to show you first from my computer, but for our iPad and iPhone users, I'm going to show you from my iPad as well so that you guys can also enter. If you have an Android, please let me know and I will do my best to work with you so that you guys can enter too. Okay, so I'm going to go over to images and I already have this image saved. So I'm just going to quickly go to my stuff and bookmarked. If you've never watched one of my tutorials, I use that to help you follow along with my mouse. Okay, so here's the image that we're going to use right here. If you click these three dots in the upper right hand corner, you can see Cupcake Toppers is the name of this. And the image number is pound sign capital M two zero capital E. 11 capital E. Now remember that when using this, the, Im the image ID is case sensitive. So you need that pound sign and you need all capital letters. I will also include the image number in my post so you guys can copy and paste it if it helps make it easier to find. It's also in the blog post for you guys. So plenty of places to find it. So you can see I have the green bounding box around here. It's down here in my queue and I'm going to add it to my canvas. Now these are already sized, ready to go for a cupcake topper. So you can see that I have one big bounding box because they're grouped together. So I'm going to go to the top of my layers panel and ungroup. Now you can see that my overall size is about three inches per uh, per piece, which is about average for a cupcake topper. You can go a little bit smaller. You can go into each one here and group them individually so that you guys can size them proportionately. If you wanna change the size, I'm not going to do that. However, I am going to do something a little different. So I really love this cute little love here, but you can see that it is not actually like letters, it is the circle with the letters cut out to go over the red. But I want just the letters. So I'm going to show you a cool technique called contour. Contour helps us remove the cut lines. So I'm going to go over to contour. Now this only works with cut files. If your image is set to print and cut, contour won't show up. If it is attached, if it's grouped, all of that is not going to show up. So double check all of your stuff before um, clicking, looking for contour. Okay, now the only thing I want to remove is that circle. So I can click here, you can see how it's highlighting it, it's darker. Or I can click right here at the top of the, the contour layers panel and it's just going to remove that circle for me and now I have just the letters. Now I think this is so adorable. So I'm going to cut actually all three of these, but I'm going to do this, um, this tealy color in a purple. Now, if you look how I have this grouped, I am only selecting this layer. When it's grouped, they're all green. I'm only selecting that layer and I'm going to change the color to purple. Now, many ask, is this necessary? Nope. You can cut you whatever material color you put down on your mat is what's going to cut. It's really not a big deal. For me, I like to change it because often I work with 40 something mats for really big projects that I do. So change it, like having the color is crucial to being able to keep track. Now for the love, I'm actually going to cut that out of a red iron on because you can iron on to cardstock. So I'm going to change that to a lighter shade of red than what we're using in our image so it populates on a separate mat. And then I'm going to change this to white. 
So I've changed all of my colors. I'm going to go up and save. A little pro tip is this little asterisk next to your project name. If, it's, if you haven't named it yet, it will say untitled, but that asterisk will still be there. That lets you know that you've made changes to your project that you have not saved. So I'm going to go ahead and click save. My machine family is set to maker three. I have a maker three, that's what I'm using. And I'm going to click make it. I'm going to cut all of these on a mat. So that's the selection I'm going to choose. And I'm going to find my love. And because I'm using iron on, I'm going to hit that mirror button and that's everything. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is click continue. It's going to find my machine. And then what I'm going to do, because I am cutting all of these out of Cricut cardstock, except for that one mat up here with my iron on. So what's gonna happen is I'm going to click on my purple mat here. It's going to cut purple, the pink, that dark red. It's going to go back up to my white and then it will cut my iron on. So what I'm going to do is click the medium cardstock setting. My machine does like some extra pressure, so I'm going to add more, and then I'm going to click remember material settings because for these four mats, three, four, five, and one, it is going to save my material setting. Once I'm done with those, I can come back, uncheck this, and change it to glitter iron on. Now I'm going to cut everything. I'm going to follow the heat guide to apply my iron on to my cardstock because that is in there. I'm going to use my Cricut Easy Press Mini since it's just a small little design. I'll get that on there quickly. And I use Art Glitter Glue to apply my layers together. It's a very fine tip glue. I'm not going to show the assembly of everything because we don't need to do that, but I'm going to assemble everything. I'm going to take a picture of my final um, projects and then I'm going to come back and show you guys how we enter this challenge. Okay, so now that I have gone and created my project, I took a picture of it. I'm going to go back to my stuff and I'm going to find my saved project. So I'm going to click that and then I'm going to first click Make Public and Design Space. I'm going to click OK. If you haven't read the terms and policies, go ahead and do that. Then I'm going to click this right here, Edit Project Details. Now, this is going to allow me to add a photo. I'm going to click there. Now, I do recommend when taking a photo, do not take one close up. And you're going to see why, because it's going to zoom it in for me. So I'm going to, I just, uploaded the image right here. So I'm going to grab that and click open. So you're going to see, um, I can go ahead and zoom in here and make it bigger. So you want to take it, but this is, I took this pretty far away and this is at a hundred percent. So I do recommend that when you take the picture, you do it from a bit of a greater distance because you can zoom in here. You can also rotate and do all of that fun stuff here as well. So I'm going to change, uh, my project name is project name is community create challenge project so i'm going to do cupcake toppers for community create challenge project i'm going to write a description up i'm not doing that right now just for the purposes of this video i'll go back and edit after so i pushed the description and then for the tags i'm going to do community and you can see I'm given an option. It's gonna it's gonna come up as soon as I start typing in community. So you're gonna tag it with community create challenge and then you're going to click save. Now we made it public, we edited our details, we added a photo and we saved it. So now what we're going to do is go back here and you're gonna see that my picture is here. So we know it's saved. We're gonna go right here to the share um, arrow. We're gonna click that. It is still public in design space. So if you got forgot that step before, you can just toggle it on right here, no big deal. And then you're going to copy this link. Now we're going to head over to Facebook and I'm going to do the hashtag first, community create challenge. And I'm going to copy and paste my link. And you can also like add your photo to your post instead of doing um, just the project link, which I do recommend um, having that picture on there too. That's a bigger 
it's a little more attention. It's going to take a second for my computer to load. So I'm going to add that. I added the project link and I added that hashtag. And so we are all set. So we are going to go ahead and click post and we are done. I'm not doing that just yet though, but that is what you will do. Now, if you just hold on one moment, I'm going to show you how to do all of this from your iPad or iPhone. Okay, so now we are on my iPad and I just I'm on the home screen. I'm going to click my projects and you can see I have my community create challenge project right there. I'm going to click these three dots in that lower right hand corner and it's going to allow me to edit project details there. Now I'm going to click this little plus sign for where my photos are. I'm going to go ahead and quickly grab this and you can use your fingers just like you do on your canvas to zoom in and out on that image and then you'll change your title you can add your tag right here and we're going to just start typing and it will come up we're going to click done in the upper right to make sure that it's saved and you can see it's saved you'll add your description here and who can view this project needs to be changed to visible in design space click done and then we're going to click save and then you can do share and that's going to bring it up right like this and you can copy that link you go to Facebook you add that hashtag you add your photo you add the link to your project and you guys are good to go and you're entered to win a Cricut Joy Bundle now remember that you can enter in different groups but in each group you must have a different and unique project and you can only enter once now if that group is topic specific like our paper group you want to make sure that your project is a paper project if you're doing a vinyl project come on over here to Cricut for beginners or go over to Cricut official and enter your project there and then go over back over to paper and enter a paper project. If you have any questions, please let me know.